The worst parts about traveling are having to be without a guitar and also having to be out amongst the general public. But I just got back from an international trip. I went to Amsterdam for ADE. It is an electronic music festival, which was a ton of fun. I've never been there. Absolutely fell in love with the city. Probably my favorite city I've ever been to in my life. And it was the perfect example or opportunity to check out what I think is the best travel guitar that you can get, all right? So this is the Traveler Guitar Ultra Light, okay? This is a pretty amazing thing right here, all right? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna hear about it. We're gonna hear about my experience with it. Uh, traveling internationally for eight days, and uh, yeah, let's just get right to it. So this is it. This is the whole thing. In fact, you can actually even make it smaller than this. So this little arm here, right here, you can pop this out. You just gotta squeeze here, and then it just comes out, right? So this is as small as you can get it. And there are strap pins here, so you can still play it. It's kind of hard to sit down and play it without that, even though it's, you know, doable. But I, you know, if you want to use a strap, that's cool. But I prefer to just use the little attachment here. And again, you just pop it in, and then it's good to go. Like, super, super incredible design, honestly. As you can see, uh, the strings go in through the little, little headless design here. They come down and then they wrap around the bottom here. And then you can see that they go through the tuners on the back here, okay? There's a little a little piece right here to keep the strings from connecting with the actual body of the guitar. Now, I have not restrung this guitar yet, so maybe let me know in the comments if you want a, an update on this later after I've posted this video. The output jack is right here. I'm just going into a Fender Tone Master Pro and you're hearing it through some computer monitors, actually. <laughs> And there are, there are no controls, it's just the pickup is right here, and then the tuning pegs are built into the sides here, right? So, really kind of an incredible design. And I've seen these before. Uh, I've used the Traveler Guitars acoustic guitar, which is still small, but nowhere near as compact as this. And I've also played like a bunch of like foldable guitars, and I really wanted to compare this to those. And this definitely feels the most like an electric guitar, fretboard, fingerboard of anything that I've played. And the reason for that is because the Traveler Guitar Ultralight Electric is a full 24 and 3 quarter inch scale guitar, and it's a solid neck through body design made of Eastern American hard maple. It stays in tune really great. With the attachment here, it just sits on your leg really, really well. And I mean, you know, you, you you tell me, what do you think it sounds? You think it sounds like real guitar? I mean, it's like, it, the, the neck is really good. It, it plays really well. Uh, it breaks down into this little bag that it comes with right here. So there's a couple different, you know, kind of gear setups that you could do. Uh, you take the piece off here and you put it into the pocket on the bag. And then what I opted to do actually was to bring a portable Tascam interface that I could plug in and monitor with headphones. You could also do another really cool thing is maybe using uh, one of the smaller computer interfaces that would fit in that pocket really nicely. Now the great thing about that bag, I actually was traveling with a checked piece of luggage. Uh, gosh, I just I love Amsterdam. You guys got to go to Amsterdam if you haven't been there. This is a perfect excuse for you to get a guitar and then be like, well, now I have this traveler guitar. Now I have to go somewhere. Go to Amsterdam. It was a little cold when I was there, but uh, just a beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, yeah, but anyways, I put this in the checked bag. But also, I think if I were doing, a I usually try not to check a bag just because it's like too much. My least favorite thing is to actual, actually travel with like a gig bag or something or some guitar, an acoustic guitar that I have to, I have to fight with the staff because they're supposed, you know, airlines are supposed to let you check like an instrument with with you, but it never works that way. Like it never works. It's funny. I've seen all these videos about like. Oh, it's easy to travel with like an instrument, like a full-size acoustic guitar and a gig bag, because there's like a law that if you tell the the people at the gate that you're traveling with an acoustic instrument, they have to make room for you. Guess what? That's not how the world works. 
<laughs> it's never it's never that easy. People are always fighting for for space on a plane, and uh, it just doesn't work. The great thing about this bag is when you have it all set up and ready to go, this is so small that you can find space in an overhead compartment just to slide this in between other people's like ridiculously sized bags. So again, this thing, this thing was super clutch. Uh, the last thing, I, I'll do some more sound examples in a second. Again, there's no, there's no volume control, so it's really dependent on what you plug it into. But the last thing before I do some sound examples, I'll actually just uh, engage this tuner so you hear without any amplification. What I found myself doing most was actually playing this unplugged. Like I would just be kind of just hanging out. And like this is, it was it was really great to have around. I, I rarely ever travel with an instrument. And I think just like, being able to, th this conference was like wild. It's like a bunch of electronic music, mostly like DJ stuff. Met some incredible creators out there, which I'm sure you guys will see on the channel very soon. But it, they were like long, long days and nights. So either, you know, being wired from so much social interaction and coming back to the hotel room and just hanging out. I can't tell you how cathartic it was just to noodle around on a guitar, you know? Like just that kind of thing. You know, just kind of like mindlessly just giving yourself something to do. That's it. For me, that's a great way to relax, especially like kind of when I'm on the road doing stuff. Now, one thing that I will say, this got so much attention. I think part of it was because it has a very attention getting look, right? I mean, like this is a guitar, like what the heck? You know, even if just, I was just kind of mess doing that same thing just kind of noodling around with it, unplugged. And people kept coming up to me. In fact, I was waiting, we were, there was this uh, this kind of audio feedback with my friend Sides and uh, a new friend of mine, Fabio and Thomas, who they had this, this kind of social media slash feedback listening session. And in the interim between people kind of going through the studio and kind of doing mix review stuff, they would come out and you know, I'd tell them about like YouTube if they have questions or whatever. And I just had this with me and I was jamming. And everybody was like, that is like a really cool thing. So I think I actually already sold a bunch of these, just uh, word of mouth, actually in Amsterdam. But I think this is like such a, such a cool, interesting thing that you might want to look into if you are going on some kind of like, like trip or something like that, because it's really, you know, relatively inexpensive compared to how thing, how much everything costs now. And uh, it's just solid, solid build quality and it stays in tune, right? So yeah, let's just kind of hear how it sounds. And then if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section or Instagram or the website and I'll talk to you soon. Uh, what do we want to play? Mm -hmm. 